Hello guys, currently there is no Blender 2.8 screencast keys add-on, so I decided to implement one. This is my project in Blender 2.8 with the Python code. Here's the init file, you can see it on the right, and the name of the add-on is Shortcut Viewer. It is implemented for Blender version 2.8, and I will run the script, and then a panel is added to the 3D view. It contains just one button to start the shortcut viewer, and after I click this, you can see the keys that I press in the lower left hand corner. Now I pressed an E, and also a combination of the pressed modifier keys Ctrl, Shift and Alt is displayed. In this version I don't show the mouse input, but I will add this to a future version, at the moment there is no possibility to draw into the viewport. When I press the button again now, I stop the display of the add-on. Ok, let's have a look at the code and I will explain some internals. First of all, the BGL module for OpenGL is deprecated, so I can't use it to draw into the viewport. I can still use the BLF module to create fonts and draw text, and this is what I do in the first version. Here's the list of the allowed keys that I display, I think I will extend it or make it configurable, and I added the Python key input class to detect which keys are pressed. It has bool members for the Ctrl, Alt and Shift key, then the key that is pressed and the timestamp, so can hide the display after a certain amount of time. In Python you can override the string representation of a class, what I do here with the str method, and this is the output string that you can see in the 3D view. I also added a mouse input class, which is not used in the first version, and here is the main class, the operator. This operator has an invoke method, that is invoked when the start stop button is pressed, and here I create a member variable for the key input, and I check if the display is started already and if not I toggle it. This is a bool property that I store for the window manager. I also register a drawing callback and an event to update the window. Ok, here is the modal method where I detect the keyboard input and I store it in the member variable key input. You can see the method here, I check if a key is pressed, and if the key is in the list of the allowed keys, I assign the key and the modifier keys to the key input member variable. So this is the basic architecture, I think it is very simple and extendable. The last method that I want to show is the draw callback, here I get the current time, and from this I subtract the timestamp of the last key input. If this is less than, let's say, 4 seconds, I will also make this configurable, I will display the keyboard input in the lower left hand corner. So as I said, when Blender comes with a new drawing API, I will draw images for the mouse input and make the UI in general more sophisticated. You can get the add-on from my GitHub. Here it is, the shortcut viewer, I added the link to the description below. The first version is 0.5 and as I already said, just the keyboard input is supported for this version. You can download the add-on as zip file and then go to the user preferences in Blender 2.8 and install it from file. I will use it for my future Blender 2.8 videos and I will improve it as soon as possible. So guys, I hope you like this add-on and if you want to support me then think about being my patron, this would really help me to create more videos like this and also implement and extend my add-ons. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when the next video is online. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on JNM.